Hey everyone, this is part two of my favorite anime list, and the next anime I have to talk about is the sequel to Dragon Ball Z, and that's Dragon Ball GT. Now, while I have a lot of problems with Dragon Ball GT, and I think it deserves a lot of criticism and hate for some of the um, problems it has, I still think Dragon Ball GT is a really awesome anime, despite several problems I have with plot holes inconsistencies some of the things I do like some of the things they did here like the Super Saiyan 4 the Super Saiyan 4 characters like baby Super Android 17 um and I love the new direction they went in with characters like Trunks Goten Trunks Goten and Vegeta Vegeta who I thought for the most part were improvements to their Dragon Ball Z um counterpart late Dragon Ball Z counterparts um, next show I'm going to talk about is Naruto Shippuden. Whenever I put Naruto in a favorite list of anything, I always forget to talk about, um, the sequel series, Shippuden. I love Shippuden. I love how they took the show in a whole new direction, Shippuden, while still having some of the humor and some of the stuff from the original series. Shippuden is much more darker. The characters are much more mature. There are more on-screen devs in this show, and, um... This show dives, my opinion, dives deeper into complexity. Things I would have never um, even thought of would have existed in Naruto, existed in this show. Like the plot twist of Toby being revealed to be Maduro Uchiha, stuff like that. Um, next show, um, Street Fighter 2 Victory. Now while I prefer the American um, cartoon a little bit more, I love this anime. I technically grew up with them both. I love the action sequences, the character designs. It has action, adventure, and the, the latter part of the story where they incorporated more Street Fighters is when the story gets real good. I think it's overrated by fans, but I still think it's an awesome um, anime, and I think a remake of this would be even better. Next show, Yu Yu Hakusho. Huge fan of Yu Yu Hakusho since 2002 on Adult Swim. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this show. This show is... um. This show has action, adventure, just like Bleach. It, mi it mixes um, martial arts with occult and fantasy, like demons and stuff. And um, it's just an awesome. Um, it, it was just an awesome show for um, Cartoon Network. In my opinion, it got it kind of got stale after the Dark Tournament arc, but it got good again during the last tournament arc where the demon tournament arc where they went in more in depth who you, on who Yusuke and Hiei were just an awesome um just another awesome anime um next anime of course is Ninja Robots I didn't know this is one of the very first animes I saw on Cartoon Network back in 1995 combines two of my favorite things robots and uh ninjas next show Voltron Defenders of the Universe huge fan been a huge fan of Voltron since 19, since 1997, since 1997 when it premiered, when it was the first anime to appear on Cartoon Network's Toonami action block, um, show, is action, adventure, it, as action adventure, I love the mighty robot Voltron, and the show has colorful, relate a small but colorful cast of characters, next show is Saber Rider and the Star Sharers. This show is just like Voltron, except this show is a space, is a space, um, is a space westerner, is a space westerner about three explorers who, pr who protect, three explorers who protect the fl frontier, frontier from an evil race called the Outriders, um, my opinion, this is another underrated, um, anime, and, um, another one of my favorite animes, and I think it's criminally underrated, I just recently watched this anime last year, and uh, show is awesome. Next show, Gotcha Man. Gotcha Man. Been a huge fan of Gotcha Man since since um 1995. It was brought to, it was brought here in America twice. First as Battle of the Planets in the 70s, then in the 80s as G Force Guardians of Space, which was more closer to the Japanese version. But most fans dismissed it because they were more fans of the original. Battle of the Planets, and then of course the show got one last run in the 90s on Cartoon Network, but since Cartoon Network didn't have 
that strong of a presence, then a lot of people didn't um, see this show. Next show, Speed Racer. Speed Racer, what more can I say? I've been a huge fan of Speed Racer since 1996. It was one of the first animes I've ever seen. I didn't even know it was anime. It looks like a, Speed Racer looks like a Looney Tune, Hanna-Barbera, MGM type cartoon. But um, yeah, didn't even know that was anime when I saw it, but I enjoyed it. Action, adventure, cool race, cool car races. Uh, yeah, just a um, just a rad, just a rad show. It's also unintentionally funny with the violence and deaths. Next show um is um. Next show on this list is the um, Transformers. Transform is the Transformers um series that. First off, the Unicron Trilogy, Transformers Armada, Energon, Cybertron, and I love also love the Transformers Robots in Disguise series, which was brought here, which was brought here to America as filler for the Unicron Trilogy, which was Armada, Energon, and um, Cybertron. Um, I love all these shows. Um, Robots in Disguise, in my opinion, while not being that good of a show, um, it, um, it, my opinion, was an awesome show. I remember seeing the awesome previews back in 2001. Transformers Armada and Energon, in my opinion, are two of the best Transformers series ever. I love their, I love, I love this for their large, colorful cast of characters. The new direction they went in with characters like Starscream. Optimus Prime, Megatron, and for and the storyline for incorporating characters like Unicron later into their um story lines. Transformers Cybertron, in my opinion, Transformers Cybertron, in my opinion, really wasn't that good, but it's also one of my favorite animes. I love the action sequences, and I love some of the things, and I love and I actually like um the plot. The only thing I don't like is the annoying humans who, in my opinion, ruin the show. Um. The um, all right um well that was it for my um that was it for part this is it for my part two of my favorite animes list I'm gonna do other types of anime lists later all right Doug eight seven nine eight out.